Hi everybody, it's me Cory T and I'm back with another video and I'm really excited because today we have a new backdrop which is Zakynthos because I'm in Greece now and it's just so beautiful and I'm so excited to be here. So I'm going to be here for the next six weeks and I'm going to bring some more content to you and today I have what I think is going to be a really special video because I found these letters that I forgot that I wrote while me and Johnny were in separation and I think I did this as comfort to myself to help me release whatever it was that I was feeling and to help me feel like I was still talking to him. It was like a kind of living in the end, releasing emotions experience that I did. And I forgot that I wrote them, but it's actually so romantic and beautiful. And I'm going to read you the story because it's basically like a story. And what I think that this will do is show you the states that I was in and maybe give you some comfort because I was not feeling great. You will see from these uh, letters that I was feeling probably like you have been while you've been in separation from your person. And I was feeling really sad, really rubbish, really missing him, really just not understanding. And, you know, it's just quite funny, some of this. And um, I think it will show you a more healthy way of viewing manifestation because, you know, there's a lot of this. Oh, I'm having a negative thought. I need to flip it. I need to get rid of it. No, because that's not very human. And also it it is not the problem. You're having negative thoughts because it's a symptom of the underlying beliefs so if you're just trying to flip thoughts and flip them and get rid of them it's like taking paracetamol for a broken bone it's not going to fix the problem so we have to look at accepting the thoughts and going okay yeah i'm having a negative thought there i'm having a really negative emotion this feels horrible what can i do i'm going to love that emotion that emotion there is trying to teach me something those thoughts are trying to talk to me and i've got to listen what is behind those thoughts what's the belief there what am i believing and then you look at the belief and you think okay oh my god i feel so so sorry for myself because i'm believing that i'm not good enough i'm believing that i'm second best i'm believing that i can't get what i want and then you start changing those beliefs because that's where the negative thoughts are coming from. And that's how you start feeling better. That's how you start moving into a more positive self-concept. And that is how you start healing your entire sense of being. And that is what this is all about. Because, yes, we all want to get our perfect relationship and our specific person. And I want that for you as well. But what I want more and the biggest success for everyone and me and you and all of us is feeling better, feeling secure, feeling happy. And then as a result of that, having a meaningful, loving, healthy relationship that isn't all about them. Because, you know, when we're manifesting a specific person, we can actually be um, fueling codependency, right? If we're not careful. So I'm gonna do another video about that. But for now, this video, I hope will <laughs> make you laugh, make you cry, make you feel um, like you've been listened to, validated, understood and give you some hope because it's a very beautiful story. So let me just um, start from the beginning. The first one, um, 4th of February at 23.51 p.m. Today, I really miss you. I wanna tell you, but we're not talking at the moment. I told you we shouldn't speak about a month ago and it was the right thing, but I miss you. I keep hoping you'll call. Anyway, how are you? Did you have a good day? <laughs> Everyone says coronavirus is bad where I am, but I haven't seen any of it and everything seems normal. I tried to go on a date to take my mind off us, but it didn't work. It just made everything worse. At least I spoke in Italian for two hours. I hate being away from you. Love you, Karina. How cute. Okay, so the next day I wrote, Today just turned into a bad day of just feeling sad that you're not here. It really is so hard. Please don't ever leave me again. I want to say that I can't do this again, but the truth is I would. I'd do it every time if it means being together in the end. I know we'll be together again. I wish that that could calm me down tonight, but I'm just in the thick of it. I wonder if you think of me at the same time as I think of you. Like now, can you feel my energy? I really fucking miss you. I miss us like so much. Please, can we just stay together? I just want to be where you are. Oh, my God. Then I go into a bit of neediness. It's just quite needy, this one. But cute. I just need to get a grip. This surely isn't me. 
You deserve the happy me, and so do I. I'll write to you again when I feel better, but just for the record tonight, I miss you like hell. Oh, poor, poor me, and poor everyone, whoever feels like this. It's hard. The same day, but the next day, because that was in the middle of the night. I feel so much better today. I don't miss you as much. Like, I do, but I don't miss you like I was yesterday. Like, I was a mess yesterday. Today, I thought I was going to have to leave Italy because we might go into red zone, blah, blah, blah. How's it in Korea? I bet I bet it's easier over there. I keep seeing number plates that had CJ or JC on them. It made me think of us. Karina, Johnny, Johnny, Karina. Anyway, I love you. Speak to you soon. And then this one. This one makes me laugh. Why the fuck are you in Korea? Just wondering. Almost texted you today, then didn't. <laughs> um, and then this one. Um, Hello. Well, to be honest, today I feel fine without you. I'm happy to be here having my own experience, learning Italian. Sometimes I don't like the feeling of being okay without you. But then I remember it's normal and it's probably a good thing. I hope you had a good day. Love you. Um, and then this one. Um, I text you on Messenger last night and you saw it in three seconds, but you didn't reply. I wonder if you're angry with me or if you just don't love me anymore. I just wanted to let you know the truth, really, that I think about you every day and it's weird to pretend that I don't. Okay, next one. I need to just stop moping around. I know that you'll message me again. I just want to stop thinking about you for a while. I've really got to get on with my work and get on with doing things for myself. I hope you're okay. I miss laughing with you at 3 a.m. And then this one is a week later. It's pancake day. I didn't have any pancakes and I bet you didn't either. Pancakes are only nice when we're together. <laughs> pancakes are nice anyway, aren't they really? How are you today? I hope you're having a nice day and everything is working and nothing is broken because that's something he always said. Um, the people at the coffee shop told me that my Italian is getting better. I love you. I miss you. I hope you call me soon. Bye. And then later on that day, I wrote, what the fuck is this all about anyway? Was meeting you really supposed to be this hard? Am I supposed to just get over it and accept that you don't love me as much as I love you? You never fight for me. You never call. You don't care. You're probably with someone else. Is this it? Is this what I have to accept? Were you just another fucking lesson? I just don't know if I'll ever get over this. I wish I even wanted to try. Why do I torture myself by allowing myself to be so rejected by you? I'm the one who said it wasn't enough. I felt so strong that day. It wasn't enough. But the problem is I still believe in us and I believe in you. I refuse for this to be so pointless. I have to find a way. Ooh. And then a few days later, I wrote, you just deleted me on Facebook. Why? For fuck's sake. You could have just messaged me and let me know. You know, like a normal person, you probably want to post something that you don't want me to see. I'm so many emotions. I'm relieved because pretending to be your friend sucked. I'm so sad because obviously it hurts. Why is this happening? I hate this. I feel so annoyed with you or angry. I feel like I'm nothing to you again. Ooh, not a good day. By the way, this gets better. <laughs> It's not all horrendous. Um, <clears throat> okay, and then a couple of days later, I'm so annoyed with you and I'm angry at myself. I shouldn't be annoyed with myself for loving you. You were so cold to me in your message. I read back all the other letters like I, that I've written recently and I feel like such an idiot. I think I was way too nice, way too hopeful in my reply to you. I don't know how we'll ever come back from this. But we did come back from this. <laughs> And then, um, right, I wrote, last night I went to a house party. You would have hated it. I didn't love it either, to be honest. I told an Italian girl about you and I told her that missing you was the reason that I'd been so antisocial until now. I told her about the miscarriage that we had. She hugged me and told me that everything happens for a reason. I walked home at midnight on my own without a mask. I had to hide behind the walls and from police. It was weird. I hope that girl was right. I miss you. And then about two weeks later, so I'd obviously got on with my life for a bit then. Um, and I wrote, hello, I'm thinking about you less, which is a good thing. 
you being with someone else actually helps me a lot. I've made so many friends here in Italy. I feel so much more free. I miss you, but I don't feel like I'm waiting for you anymore or being disappointed by you because I'm not waiting. I'm just getting on with my, my life. But still, I know it's just where we are at in life at the moment. And I know that you love me. The next day, this one's really cute. I asked my brother why I can't stop loving you. And he said, well, if you're planning on loving someone forever, I guess you could see it as a good thing that you can't stop. And that made me feel better. Night. I love you. So this one is not me at all. It's strange reading this one, but on the 14th of March, I wrote, I'm drunk or high or something. I don't know. I went to a party. Andreas walked me home. Nothing of it. I don't care. Where are you? Are you awake? Say hi to your Korean girlfriend. Does she make you laugh like I do? I bet she doesn't. I don't care. She's not me. <laughs> And then on the back, I've written, P.S. Nobody compares to us. I just love you. God, why am I such a soppy fool? Cringe. Um, <clears throat> and then a few days later, I wrote, I booked my flight to come home to the UK. I'm having a good time, but something is pulling me home. Something is pulling me home. I really can't explain it. How are you? Come stai? Mi manchi. Mi manchi as I miss you in Italian. And then a week later, hi, I'm back. I've been so busy the last few days. It's been so much fun filming for my music video. My friend Paul is helping me. I'm directing and editing it. I can't wait for you to see it. Today, a man came to my door about the electricity. I didn't understand him and he didn't understand me. And when he left, he said, but you're beautiful. Italian men are so forward. It makes me laugh. I still haven't even kissed anyone since you. I guess I could have, but I haven't met anyone that I like as much. It was your mum's birthday the other day. I sent her a message. I hope she has a good day. I miss her. You tagged her in a picture on Facebook and I saw it because st I'm still friends with your mum and you just look so gorgeous. Anyway, I love you. I miss you. Bye. Um, how are you? I miss you, but I'm happy today and I don't know why. That's nice, isn't it? See, as you can see, my state was getting better as I was going along. I'm a bit conflicted about leaving because I'm happy to be here and I've made so many friends and people here now and I've got used to the culture. I'm so glad that this turned into such an amazing experience. But that's all I came for, really, I guess. You came up as a suggested account to follow on Instagram. I can't believe that you're on Instagram. I won't, but I bet we stalk each other. I'm home soon. Love you. Um, and then a few days later sudden wave of horrible sadness that we're apart this is so hard i can't wait to go home my flat in italy keeps reminding me of all the days that i spent in here wishing that you hadn't gone to korea loving you is so hard today i miss you so much i'll be okay tomorrow i just need to sleep um getting to the end now by the way um <clears throat> i heard the song called carefully by demi lovato and it made me feel so much and think of you. I had this overwhelming feeling that when we're together again, we're gonna get it right. It made me cry in a good way. I'm not going anywhere and I will not stop loving you. Then this one, you see, says, you left Korea, yay! I assume that you, I, I assume that you left the girl that you were seeing too, as expected, thank God for that. I'm happy because it didn't seem like you were happy there. It's the weirdest thing ever. We booked a flight on the same day home, unknowingly. Please call me, tell me you miss me and you keep seeing memories of me in every corner of your house at home. And then this is when everything changed because I accidentally messaged him, literally accidentally. I put, fucking hell. I accidentally sent you an emoji on WhatsApp. Then you messaged me and I don't feel ready. I didn't mean to talk to you. I'm still missing you like hell. Anyway, yesterday we spoke for an hour and a half on FaceTime. It felt like yesterday. Wow, that's when everything changed. Then about a week later, I'm home. I'm so relieved to be home. I really hated being in that flat on my own in Perugia in the end. I'm wondering if you're wondering if you should call me again. It feels a bit weird. I'm home, you're home. Hello, ring me. I can't fucking wait to see you, even if I'm a bit confused. I won't be when I see you. And then I wrote this. How are you? How have you been? Silly question, because we've been talking for a week and it seems to escalate very quickly. We spoke twice on FaceTime and now we've applied for a job together in Italy and in Dubai. What the hell is going on? Our connection blows my mind. But also, I'm sure I manifested this. I told you I'm magic. 
Or maybe you told me, I don't know, but I am. I feel so much calmer. I trust the process. Everything is unfolding exactly as it should. I'm keeping all these notes in the scrapbook and one day I'll show you them. I can't wait to see you. And then the last one. We're going to Dubai. Oh my God, I'm feeling so happy and excited for us. First, our first proper real adventure together. I'm so happy that I never gave up on us. The truth is that I honestly love you just so much and I will always love you. So that's why I couldn't give up. I'm coming to the Cotswolds in two weeks and two days and I can't wait to see you. Eight months later, this is us. But from your Karina. And that's that. <laughs> so if you watched all of this, let me know because I am interested to know how that came across and what you thought and, you know, what, what what did you think of that? Did it did it remind you of yourself? Did it make you feel better? Did it make you feel calmer? Did it make you feel excited? Are you going to do the same thing with these letters? I might actually go and show Johnny these now because they're so interesting. But yeah, let me know what you think. And if you would like some coaching, then send me a email or check out my website and I will see you in the next video.